I'm showing you guys some of the moves that you should definitely have in your bag. I'm going to try to section this video off in the different types of fighting. It's going to be a little random at times, but you'll know what's going on. Win more fights with these moves. Use code Kenbeans to win even more fights. And let's hop right in. I'm in Unreal. I got Unreal pretty quick. And specifically, one of the main things any player should know when you're trying to climb the ranks or get better at fighting, it is this right here. It's called funneling. Kind of like constricting players almost. Kind of like what a snake would do you may not realize it but pros are using this method very simple just to place double edits around people's boxes when you're fighting them it limits where people can go so if they accidentally go into your double edit they're gonna panic even more and rebox even more there's a simple version where i got this guy cracked and he's in a really awkward spot so by constricting where i want him to go by placing these double edits to the left and to the right it makes that pressure even more intense by me because if i get this floor right here he's toast patience is key don't always double swing just hold your shotgun out and play slow remember to let them make the mistake this clip is the same type of funneling method it starts out with this guy in this one by one he ends up making another box but i make it very simple to fight this guy i spend a couple seconds blocking off his angles so that he can't easily run out of my peace control and you see here i'm just slowly and patiently taking a wall notice how i'm holding cone edits i'm not making extremely fast edits thinking that i'm some sort of god and I'm going to take him off guard in seconds because that's not going to happen. I play slow and patient and just wait for him to make a mistake so I can just jump right in like this. I mean, that kill literally cannot look any easier than that. This is the most difficult example. This is kind of like your average cash cup fight where people are just downright terrified to box fight you. Obviously, I have the health advantage on this guy, so I run up. He's creating a million boxes, so I burn extra wood to place double edits. That way, I can constrict him or funnel him into a spot where I know he can go and get peace control. So you see, he's running through my double edits and everything, and once he did that, he instantly made even more boxes. So I can tell this guy's a little bit nervous because he doesn't want to necessarily fight me. He's waiting for the most optimal peak. I'm spending even more match trying to claim these double edits i get a wall on him and he instantly creates more than like three boxes and because i had these double edits here i was able to shoot the wall then pickaxe it and shove the wall in his face this peace control and this type of method in fortnite all stemmed from me placing just two double edits on either sides of his box this is a must know when fighting anyone anywhere i don't know how many times i'm gonna have to put this in my videos before you start doing it add this to your bag it starts out with me being inside a box and i get odm right away i go to create more space and rebox but notice i'm doing it from a box away so when this wall wasn't mine i just close off that entire edit altogether make sure that you know how to do this without messing up i can see he's about to jump into my box so i shoot pre-fire i flip the cone and then edit out the wall without messing up and i do a side jump this one move alone without choking it will definitely save you in fights a ton i set up the box fight again to have the position to be in this angle i'm very far in the back corner of the box and just wait and shoot it is literally that simple guys like i am not even kidding the amount of people even myself you're gonna see later in the video that fall for this it's the most tempting edit to make when you're in this position because it just makes you believe you have a right hand peak when you're the enemy then it's just easy kills from then on out this peak in a box fight is next level i almost hate telling people about this tip because when it's done to me i get super triggered we're gonna shift over to high walls now i know this is basic you might click off but don't there's a few things i want to mention real quick arguably one of the most useful moves in all of fortnite you can see in this clip right away i see a stair above me so i just place two high walls up i make a beautifully executed window edit where i'm completely pressed up against the wall when i'm confirming it that way as he moves over to try and see me i'm moving more more to the left so that it's impossible for him to try and get a good shot there are times where you can get 50 50 in this exact edit and take a lot of damage but if you play it ultra safe like i did here look how easy it is to line up a headshot at that point like how do you counter that you just got max pumped and you couldn't even see the guy so now you not only would you be shaking in your boots but you know since you got rocked that hard that you have to double think every edit you make so check out the next example i'm in the midst of a build fight kind of in the early game here and instead of doing a high wall necessarily i'm doing Doing the opposite which is like a low wall but the same exact move and check out how even though i place the cone on the outside of the box check out the 
far right window edit. This is underrated as hell. Max pump, and I made a 50-50 edit at the end. That was kind of trash. Max pump on the window edit all the way from this angle. He can't even see me from here. If you don't believe how good it is, check it out on this clip. In a fight like this, I'm in one box. I make a far window edit, even in this situation. I get the crack, and then I pair what I just said in the last move, where I hug this peak, where I'm very close to the wall, so it's harder for him to see me. Now I'm claiming peace control, and I'm trying to get in his face because I know that I'm at a massive health advantage. Eventually, I track him through the builds, get the kill, but these window edits from the far right are super underrated. And seriously, remember the high wall tactic. I chopped this guy out, and since I had really good crosshair placement, I just hold my wall bind, and I get two out real quick, and now I peace controlled the layer above me so I can go in and get a quick kill. This part of the video is just one clip where it's gotta be its own thing. Just playing angles. This angle is ridiculous. Never seen people talk about this. The pressure is on. First off, I'm on low ground in a very crappy spot and I get cracked. I knew that that was his wall, so I tried to place a stair last second, but he ended up getting the cone instead. Now I'm at a really big disadvantage and I know that he's gonna go crazy trying to pressure me. I rebranch, create a one by two, and then I use the cone here to jump up over the wall and get a shot. I'm gonna tell you right now, no one is gonna expect that. Then I follow up with insanely good peace control behind the peak here. There's just no way he can see me. I time the pre-fire and now the game is even again. I'm gonna replay to show you this scenario. It is absolutely so good. Create another box. I notice how I have a cone below my feet right now. So that allows me to get over the wall. Little 50 tag. And then I do a window edit completely behind the cover. And then I time the pre-fire. I'm in a situation with low mats. I edit up and get this guy taken off guard again. This guy here, he was pretty good. We were going at it in this fight. When I run to jump in his box like this, it's very easy for a good player to just go outside and make a double edit. That's why I was standing outside the box instead of continuing the pressure trying to exploit through. I do the high wall tactic. I don't get any sort of peace control here. He's above me and I use the window edit. This one definitely could have been on the far right side, but it's that same muscle memory that you kind of want to try and build. Don't make 50-50 edits, make far window edits. Let's get into something different. This is a solo cash cup fight in high Elo. I just got a win in the previous game and now I'm in this one fighting this guy in the zone. I know that he has no mats because he's doing one of two things. He's constantly just blatantly pickaxe swinging on walls and he does this strat right here. Pros do this all the time. They try to get in, they fail, so they mantle up and make it seem like I'm going somewhere else and then they come back to the wall again and then just try and quick pickaxe into your box. I don't make any edits. I don't do anything stupid. I just place a cone in my box and just wait for the pre-fire. Patience is key here. This guy definitely was not that bad and i guarantee you that he's killed a lot of people doing this exact same thing but now that you know it it's not gonna happen to you now this fight started out with me trying to scramble for these mats i'm trying to stay on the move so that way i don't get odm'd very easily and when i build up here i get cone so now i'm thinking i still might have a chance to claim this high ground you should 100 learn how to practice this double edit from this position i smothered this guy with my peace control but i worked on this edit a lot to make sure that it was smooth when I do it and I don't choke. The patience I talked about earlier, here it is again, but this is way different. I'm gonna let this play. I create a box. This guy's on my wall. Look at my HP, extremely weak. My goal is to just pre-fire any pickaxe swing. After that, you take the precaution and turn your cone into a stair every time. Now, I'm just sitting here regaining health, playing slow, playing patient, and waiting for him to do the pickaxes. Since this wall's one shot, you see how we're playing a dance here? I'm waiting for him to swing, but he knows that. So he's trying to get me to bait shoot by holding his pickaxe out. That's a strat that a lot of people do. That's how I miss time the shot. After I get a little bit of damage done, now I know I'm a little bit more healthy than him. So I hold this insane peak here where he has to really extend himself in order to see me. I played like an absolute loser in this fight, but it won me the game just by playing super, super patient. When you get cracked from far away, obviously you're going to get pushed. So make sure that you create the box with two builds above you and a stair and wall in front of you. You need need this to get at least one mini off because if they continue to spray it's just not going to happen when i do that i create another box now we're going to combine all the moves i talked about i'm waiting for him to swing to pre-fire i miss that so now i make a far window edit because this is the most safe peak and then i see that he took out his pickaxe so i instantly go to try and pre-fire the swing i miss that too now when he gets the wall here i just back up make him take an edit and then i reset boom i got shot 40 damage and i exploit in because i know i'm more healthy than him and i finish up the kill the most important part to this fight that you want to add to your bag is the 
first five to six seconds. Now, this fight was a sweat show as well. We were in the zone for a while. I end up getting a big crack, but how it ended is the most important because it teaches you just when to get in. When I drop down on this stair right here, notice how I just hug the far right side of this wall because if he makes any sort of right hand peek, I'll already be inside the box and then I get the nice one pump. If I drop down on the left, it's gonna be way easier for him to try and get a pre-fire shot. This is the final scenario, but arguably one of the most important too. What to do when you get cracked? I'm playing like an animal at the start here. I pump this guy, hit him 50, and now I'm on this side of the wall. I don't like this. I like to be on the corner of a box. This makes it so no matter what edit he makes, I'll have a counter. I'm swinging at different walls. I'm going crazy. Somehow he manages to get a shot on me. Right away, here is where you lock in. You create a box. Now I'm in a one by two. He's probably going to jump in your face. I hold my shotgun out, get ready for the pre-fire, and no matter what happens here, if he grabs my wall before I do, I flip the cone, I leave the box, I I reset the cone and now I look for him to play even more aggressive and then maybe I finish it here. If not, I run away and I go heal up. This sequence of plays after you get cracked is what you should do every single time. You might need to watch this video more than once. Drop a like because it's on my second channel. It probably won't do as good. It's been your man Ken. Don't forget to use code KenBeans and I will see you guys next time. Peace.